Welcome to the Instrument Center of Excellence for Impact Test. Today we are going to talk about puncture test, the most common impact procedure used to characterize plastic materials with a drop weight tester. We all know dynamic failures of materials are different than those found when testing at slower and steadier speed. Especially true of engineering plastics where many variables can affect the material like the presence of reinforcements or additives like flame retardants or colors. Also called multi-axial impact, the puncture test is the testing procedure used to determine the rupture characteristic of plastics materials at highly dynamic conditions. It allows to obtain further information of materials such as the impact strength, specifically called puncture resistance, toughness, energy absorption, ductility level, transition temperature from ductile to brittle or the crack propagation. All these are crucial information for material researchers and engineers to develop and compare new performing materials and use the right one in the right place. The puncture test is regulated by international standards like ISO or ASTM. They provide guidance to test from plastic thin film to rigid reinforced plates. Let's see now some examples. ISO 6603-2 and ASTM D3763 are the most diffused international standards. Let us see now how to properly meet them. Both standards require an hemispherical impact insert with controlled harness but with different diameters. While ISO 6603 requires a 20 mm diameter insert, ASTM D3763 asks for a diameter 12.7. These inserts are both connected to the instrument piezoelectric or strain gauge load cell to record the impact event and to transfer the data to the data acquisition system and Blue Hill Impact for further analysis. As the two standards require specimens of different uh, diameter and, and dimensions, also the specimen support and the clamping rings, specifically the diameter of the internal passage, are different. The specimen is pneumatically clamped in between the clamping set. Specimen clamping is critical because it prevents the specimen slippage during the impact event. Clamping set can work at room temperature and inside the conditioning chamber. As these supports are positioned on top of a stand, it's very simple to switch from an ISO configuration to the ASTM one. Last differentiator between ISO and ASTM standards is the impact speed. In fact, ISO recommends 4.4 meters per second which corresponds to 1 meter dropping height, while ASTM recommends different speeds, but the most common are 3.33 meters per second and 6.35 meters per second. The setup I just showed you requires the operator to position manually each specimen in the impact position, therefore is the right solution when the number of specimens to be tested per day is limited. Today we are going to equip our 9450 with the carousel system. This solution is recommended when testing volume grows from low to medium high and the impact test have to be performed also below zero degrees. This accessory is made up of a rotating disc manually controlled by an external handle that hosts up to 10 ISO or ASTM seats, easily interchangeable. Its versatility allows to test both thin films and rigid plastic. If you are concerned about any possible positioning error of specimens, the carousel system is equipped with sensors that finally control the disc positioning. Using the carousel system to condition and test 10 specimens inside the thermostatic chamber is crucial to speed up testing as well as reducing 
the nitrogen liquid consumption. In fact, we avoid to open the chamber after each impact and this can save more than 10 liters of nitrogen liquid every 50 specimens and reduce by half the operator's time. Mostly wasted waiting for thermal stability. Particularly useful with this medium volume testing setup is the automatic lubrication device. As required by ISO 6603, it's really important to reduce the friction generated during the impact by lubricating the impact insert. This device is able to do it automatically by spraying oil on the tappy insert. Moreover, by ejector com of compressed air, it's also able to remove residual debris typically left by thin films that could generate wrong data acquisition. Now that I show you some key elements of our drop tower, let me show you a complete test cycle. Once all the specimens are correctly positioned on the carousel system, we can finally approach our touchscreen controller with Blue Impact software. Here, opening the test area, we can select and eventually customize one predefined testing method. Thanks to a set of smart defaults, it's extremely easy to cover the most common impact testing scenarios. In fact, there is no need of having specific software expertise or get extensive training with Blue Hill Impact. Moreover, Blue Hill includes the prompted test which is a controlled workflow, customizable by the administrator, that drives the user to a quick setup, ensuring tests remain repeatable, simple and error-free. Let's set now a new sample name. We are finally ready to start a new test. As you have noticed, the external frame change colors. This provides a clear picture to the operator on the status of the machine. After having confirmed the photocell offset, the system starts moving. As you can notice, few milliseconds after the test, it's possible to have available the, the test results, which includes the graph, force deformation or force time, and the results table with all the main figures, which, which are basically the slowdown, the force, the energy absorption, and the deformation of the system. Now, the external flame changes change color again, and we can move to the next specimen. And the second test starts. This is the procedure that will be performed till the very last specimen. After the last specimen, Blue Hill Impact can automatically export results, raw data and test reports, wherever you need them to be. We can finally close the sample and set results and automatically reports will be generated and will be available. In conclusion, if you are looking to a better understanding of puncture tests, all the best practices to perform impact tests and be 100% productive, feel free to contact us. We will be happy to talk with you.